people will begin gathering at Southern Connecticut State University, promoting people there to get vaccinated. It's all part of move-in day. Fox 61's Angelo Bavaro joins us live on campus in New Haven with more details on that. Good morning. Good morning, Tim. And before that stuff about the vaccinations, I do want to start off with the move-in part because that is underway as we speak right now. So if you take a look right here behind me, you can see this line of cars. They are coming onto campus, starting to pour onto these residence halls. And if you take a spin around with me this way, you can see families are starting to unpack here. We've got the welcome crews. How's it going, guys? Excited? Yes, yes. There you go. Lots of excitement here on campus. And Tim was mentioning those vaccinations. Luckily, COVID protocol is more relaxed this year. But of course, there are still those protocols in place. You can see these guys, they are wearing masks out here. And another one of these protocols is vaccinations, of course. So all students here at Southern participating in any on-campus activity were required to be fully vaccinated before moving on to campus for the semester. And that vaccine mandate, that is also in place for other schools and state colleges and universities as well. So as of Monday, August 9th, we did get an update from the president here at Southern. He said 61% of the student body had responded to the vaccine mandate, but 92% of those students were fully vaccinated. But of course, he was expecting those numbers to be higher in these past two weeks since then. Now, the university also adding that the numbers of students requesting medical and non-medical exemptions are low. And as for those students who are not vaccinated, partially vaccinated, or have not yet provided proof, they're going to have those extra mitigation strategies in place, like routine testing. And we did catch up with one student who is excited about this upcoming school year, hoping all of these new policies are going to help build a more normal school year and college experience. Take a listen. You like going in the cafeteria without having to have masks up or they have the glasses up. So then we can actually be able to, uh, I mean, connect more, I guess. Yeah, that is the main goal as we start this new school year. And as we come back out live to the scene, the move-in process, as I mentioned, is looking a lot more normal this year, which is some more good news in this fight against the pandemic because these students, they are allowed in a limited number of guests, we're told, compared to last year was just one guest. And you talk about that vaccination effort. Well, we know Lieutenant Governor Susan Beisowitz is going to be on campus at 10 o'clock this morning, just under an hour, to talk about the importance of young people getting vaccinated, especially with that full Pfizer approval now. Reporting live here in New Haven, I'm Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News.